welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. I hope you're all having a really gorgeous day. The sun is out today and I'm feeling pretty good. Um, today I thought we would do a get ready with me and I'm going to use all my favourite Charlotte Tilbury products. So everything that I really love from the brand I'm going to be using in this video and I do have a Charlotte Tilbury giveaway. So to start with, um, we're going to go in with something that I discovered recently. This is a new product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. Uh, this came out last year and honestly, I've had two minis of this now. It is quite expensive, but it is beautiful on the skin. Um, I just do like two little drops and like literally just work it in. So next we're going to go in with the Magic Cream. Now, I do normally use LMS. LMS is normally like my go-to moisturising range. Um, but because I've got Charlotte Tilbury at the moment, I am using it. And I do like it. It is a really nice winter moisturiser because it is that little bit heavy. They have done a lighter version of this. Um, but... I personally I always like a heavy moisturizer being that I have quite dry skin quite dehydrated skin I just feel that this sinks in beautifully um, I don't have a Charlotte Tilbury eye cream I know they do one but I don't have one so I'm just going to go in with my um, Shishido um, eye cream which I'm using at the moment because you should always put on an eye cream day and night okay so why that is working its way into the skin um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the giveaway so uh, in this video you're going to have the chance to win yourself a Charlotte Tilbury um, quad palette and this is actually my favorite quad palette they do um, It's this one. I actually have one already. It is the Queen of Glow. So lovely These are definitely like my favorite colors to use from Charlotte Tilbury They're stunning so pretty such lovely formulas if you haven't tried their eyeshadow palettes before we will use them in this video I will be using this in the video so you'll get to see what it's like. To enter this giveaway, it is open internationally because I can send this pretty much anywhere. Um, all you need to do is tell me below what is your favourite product from Charlotte Tilbury or if you've not tried a product from Charlotte Tilbury before, what would you like to try the most? So to be in with an extra chance to win, head over to my Instagram. There's going to be a Charlotte Tilbury post going up today um, and if you enter on there you get an extra entry to win but if you don't don't worry you're still entered so, so next i'm going to go in with wonder glow this is just so beautiful it's a really nice um kind of like goldy primer so i just basically pop that in the middle of my skin work it outwards and it just gives your makeup that lovely like glowy dewiness now this is definitely my hero product from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. Now there's lots of different ways that people use this. Personally for me, I use it as like a base for my foundation. So I'll mix my foundation with it and it just creates this beautiful, glowy, dewy, um, gorgeousness on your skin. Um, I get through <laughs> these quite quickly, I must admit. Um, because I am quite liberal with it. It's almost like an invisible foundation for your skin or spanks for your skin or something like that. It just makes your skin look the best that it can do. And I love this. They're actually bringing out several new shades of this at the moment. So I'm going to put a link in the drop box below if you're interested in checking it out because I just... For me, that's like a hero product. It's so good. So for foundation, I'm going to go in with my NARS Illuminous Weightless Foundation. This is in the shade Mont Blanc. So this is uh, number two. Um, I do sometimes use Deville, which is like a medium shade that they have. Um, but that's more like when I fake tan. And literally, I just use the tiniest amount. Um, and I just literally dot this in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and it just gives this beautiful coverage um, that's just so hydrating. Um, it looks lovely. It feels lovely on the skin as well. Um, it doesn't feel heavy. Uh, the only thing I would say um, is that it can be a bit lift-off-y, so you do need to make sure that you use a good setting spray. 
Okay, I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and blend it out. So, skin is looking lovely and glowy. Um, I've got my base on, feeling quite happy with how that's looking. Um, so next, we're going to go in with a little bit of contour. Now, I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is like the messiest product I think I have probably ever used. Uh, but it does work well. Can't say it doesn't. Um, and I do use it every day. So, yeah. Can't really, you know, fault it in that respect. It just is messy. So I'm just going to take a brush and I'm just going to buff that into my hairline. Um, and this just makes a really nice base for my bronzer. Okay, I'm next going to go in with concealer. So this is my Magic Away Liquid Cream Concealer. Um, this, again, is another messy product from Charlotte Tilbury. I just don't understand why we have to have messy products. But... I'm not going to complain, the formulas do work well. Uh, I'm then going to take something that isn't from Charlotte Tilbury, which personally is just like one of these things that I like to do because I just find this works really well for me. Um, this is the um, Lottie London Freckle Tint. If you have, like me, a little bit of a, a bigger nose, uh, this might be something to interest you. It might not be, It might. you might think actually looks really silly. But for me, this is just a really cool little fun thing that I like to do. Especially if I'm doing filming for the day, I find it just adds an extra dimension to my face. I do have very, very slight freckles, but you never usually see them on camera. Um, because they sit underneath all my makeup. So, I like to draw them on. And actually what it does is it draws the eye and attention away from the nose. So, yeah, I that's what I like to do. I like to draw on my freckles. Um... I tend to do them in like little clusters of like threes or fours um, and it tends to be like I sort of know where I have freckles underneath my skin and I think the trick with this is not to be too uniform and also not to try and think to yourself that you want it to be really visible because you don't. You want it to be like very subtle. So I'm just going to go in with my brow pomade. Um, I'm going to put the details to this in the drop box below it doesn't actually exist anymore uh, and then i'm just going to take some brow setting gel and uh this is from nyx it's just like a nyx one it's really simple okay so i'm going to take off the freckle tint now i'm just going to go in with a small beauty blender and just basically go over the top of it and it's just going to like blend it out and make them more subtle some will look more prominent than others um, some will look less prominent, some will just vanish. Um, it will just look really nice and natural. And just remember that we haven't even gone in with like bronzer or um, um, blusher yet or anything like that. So um, these will look even more natural as we carry on because they'll kind of look underneath your products. So next, we're talking about bronzer, weren't we? So I'm going to go in with my bronzer from charlotte tilbury this is like a gorgeous kind of very pale light over the face bronzer um i really do like this um i wish i got medium but the fair one is actually really nice for just giving your skin like a wash of color so i literally put this everywhere and i mean everywhere so for blusher, I'm going in with my favourite blusher. Uh, this is the Chic to Chic in Ecstasy. I actually got this in um, a mystery box from Charlotte Tilbury and it appeared, reappeared, should I say, in another mystery box recently from Charlotte Tilbury, which I was absolutely ecstatic by uh, because I have, as you can see, hit pan in this. And if you're like me and you are pale, this is a gorgeous bronzer from um, blusher from... Charlotte Tilbury it's just like the right amount you know it's that lovely like peachy glow that you can really build um build on I personally take it quite high almost like a highlighter because it has got that nice kind of like uh sparkliness to it but not too much sparkle but enough for you to kind of be like yeah 
Okay, so I'm going to use a couple of different Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes for this look. Um, I'll let you know which ones I've used in the comment box below. But to start with, we're going for the um, Charlotte Tilbury Darlings palette. Now this is super, super, super cute. It was in one of the mystery boxes they brought out at Christmas and then re-released on, I think it was Boxing Day. And we're just gonna go in with one of the neutral shades and put that down as our base color. I don't know why that these, these eyeshadows don't have names to them, it's really annoying. Uh, next we're going to go in with one of my favourite palettes from Charlotte Tilbury, it's the Copper Charge. Um, this colour is just like heaven. Um, I'm going to take this on my fluffy Zoeva brush and I'm just going to work this into like the lid area. Um, I really love this shade, it's so pretty. Um, it's just like my perfect mid-range, um, all over the lid, little pop of colour. Um, I'm then going to take the slightly darker shade in the Queen of Glow palette um, on a much smaller brush and I'm just going to work that out in the outer uh, edge. So I'm just going to use this just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. So I really love an inner eye that pops and I do like the Charlotte Tilbury popping colours but I have to be honest, I really like a thick, chunky um, shimmer for the inner eye area. So at the moment, my go-to um, is um, Icon London. Uh, they brought out this palette called Day to Slay Eyeshadow Palette. Um, it was actually in a glossy box advent calendar this year. Beautiful. Um, this color, Peach Fizz. OMG. This like is like the glow that your eyes love. Um, it's really thick and chunky. It's a massive, massive, massive um, pan as well, which I am like in heaven. Uh, I swear sometimes like I will have like one colour in a palette that just speaks to me. And this is exactly what this is. Now, if you wanted to go in with something a little bit softer, the Queen of Glow palette is beautiful for that. So they have these two gorgeous shimmers in here, which are lovely. Um, so we've got the sort of like more sort of goldy one, um, which does give off a really nice like goldy colour. And then they have one that's just a little bit more subtle. Um, but personally, like that is like blinding. Okay, so I'm just going to do eyeliner, lashes, um, and I will be back. Hmm. Okay, so I am all ready. I've just um, dried my hair and just given it some curls, popped some lashes on. These were just like Poundland cheapy lashes, nothing spectacular. Um, lipstick so i grabbed my favorite lipstick from charlotte tilbury uh, this is the shade stoned rose um, it is so pretty um such a lovely color um i adore this i wear it every day like literally every day now it's a beautiful um absolutely my favorite color um and then i do just put a little bit of mascara on not a lot but i am using the uh, push up lashes mascara personally I do actually prefer the um, extreme lashes 2 mascara that is insane like I love that mascara so much um so yeah that is my get ready with me I hope you enjoyed seeing me try out some of those products and use them as I said they are like my favorites they're products that I use every day and I just love and I know they work really well for me and I just you know they just are beautiful so just to remind you if you want to be in with a chance to win the gorgeous gorgeous queen of glow palette which i love um then all you have to do is leave me a comment below telling me what your favorite charlotte tilbury product is or if you have not tried charlotte tilbury what product you would like to try but for me for now that is everything thank you so much for like watching uh for making it through to the end of the video please give this a thumbs up if you did enjoy it don't forget to like and subscribe to be in with the chance to win and i'll see you all next time take care guys bye bye